Hey everyone, it's Cooper with the Mountain Bike Co-op and today we're going over the top five valued mountain bikes that you can get in 2023 and get you the most bang for your buck. All the bikes that we're looking at today will have 120 to 140 millimeters of rear travel and fit into that trail category. I think each one of these bikes is a perfect do-it-all bike. If you want to skip straight to the bikes, I have them all linked in the description down below so you can go to the bike that you're interested in. With the bike industry having trouble selling off all of their excess surplus due to the COVID boom, now is the best time for you to buy a new full suspension mountain bike. There are some killer deals out there up to 40% off on some builds. And in today's video, I'm gonna be going over the budget I think you should be spending on a decent full suspension mountain bike and five bikes that I think are worthy of your hard earned cash. I'll also be releasing another video similar to this focused on enduro style bikes. So if you're interested in that, make sure you subscribe and stay tuned. All right, so what are we looking for when we consider a budget bike value? Well, budget's a super subjective term from person to person. And in my opinion, I think you need to spend at least $1,500 to $3,000 on your first full suspension mountain bike to get a good value. I think this is gonna get you the most bang for your buck in regards to frame construction, components, and serve you better over the long run so your bike's not breaking down with cheap components and you're not wanting to upgrade constantly. All the bikes that we're currently looking at today are on sale and some are crazy deals, so check them out down in the description below. So each bike that we're looking at today is going to fit my criteria and what I'm looking for in a good value mountain bike. First, it's gonna have a air fork and shock. This is gonna allow us to dial in the pressure and set up the suspension so it fits you as a rider. Second, I look for a dropper post. I think these are a must. It allows you to get your weight behind the bike when you're descending. Third is gonna be hydraulic disc brakes. Uh, these are great for allowing you to stop in all types of conditions, whether it's raining or snowing. And finally, we're looking at bikes that all have modern geometry and will not be outdated in the near future. These will be comfortable bikes for you to ride on all different types of terrain. So with that being said, let's dive into the bikes. The first bike on the list is the Canyon Spectral 125 AL and comes in two models, the AL5 and AL6. Currently, the better spec AL6 is priced at $2,299 and $600 cheaper than the base model, that's a whopping $1,200 off its MSRP. The Spectra 125 is all about having fun and balances progressive geometry with the perfect amount of travel for a trail bike. It comes in with 29 inch wheels in two different colors, real raw and flat earth, which is my personal preference. This bike is perfect for people that want to tack on big miles and not afraid to get rowdy on the descents. Looking at the geometry, this is one of the more aggressive options on the list, with a reach of 486 in a size large, a slack 64 degree head tube angle, and a 76.5 degree C tube angle. The AL6 is hands down the best spec bike for its current sale price. It comes with a 125 millimeter Fox Float X performance shock in the rear, 140 millimeter Fox 36 rhythm, Shimano SLX one by group set, SLX four piston hydraulic brakes, and a DT Swiss all mountain wheel set, set up tubeless ready. I'd recommend you take a hard look at the Spectra 125 during the sale period as it's a screaming deal. If you're unable to snag the AL6 at the current sale price, the AL5 is a worthy contender with its Shimano Dior group set and RockShox suspension. The next bike on the list is the Marin Riftzone 29.2, which comes in at a price of $23.99. The Riftzone brings together trail taming 29 inch wheels, 130 millimeters of rear travel, a light aluminum frame, and Marin's super plush multi-track suspension platform. This bike is for the rider looking for speed and rollover capabilities of a 29er, while maintaining the ability to motor up any climb. This bike is not as long, low, and slack as the Canyon Spectro, but is more aggressive than your standard XC race bike to provide you more control at top speeds and more fun on the descents. The Rift Zone 2 has a reach of 485 for a size large, a 65.5 degree head tube angle, and a 77 degree C tube angle. The Rift Zone 2 comes in with a buttery smooth 140mm Marzocchi Bomber Z2 fork, 130mm RockShox Deluxe Select RT shock, Shimano Dior group set, Shimano MT200 hydraulic brakes, and you can always get last year's model for around $1800, so don't be afraid to shop around. 
The next bike is also on crazy sale and that's the YT Izzo Core 2. This carbon hybrid frame is currently 25% off and comes in at $24.79. The Core 2 is a very versatile platform built with a park spec that combines performance and efficiency. This is the perfect trail shredding machine for anything you can throw at it. The Core 2 Izzo is the only carbon hybrid frame we're looking at with a carbon front triangle and aluminum rear triangle. All sizes come with 29 inch wheels, a geometry adjusting flip chip, and two different colorways black magic or ice gray. The geometry is progressive enough to tackle steep descents without getting too squirrely, but also puts you in a great pedaling position for long days in the saddle. The Izzo has a reach of 472 millimeters on a size large, a 66 degree head tube angle, and a 77 degree seat tube angle. Just note the head tube and seat tube can be steepened by a half a degree with the flip chip. The Izzo has 130 millimeters of travel both front and rear, with a Fox 34 performance fork up front and a Fox DPS performance shock. This is the best spec suspension that we're looking at today on all of these value trail bikes. The Izzo comes with the durable SRAM NX group set, four piston SRAM G2R brakes, the YT Postman dropper post, and the DT Swiss M1900 wheel set with Maxxis Forecaster tires to help you cover a lot of ground. If I was in the market for a trail bike, this would probably be my choice. The next bike is also from Canyon, and it's the Neuron 6 coming in at $17.99. The Neuron is nimble and excels on tight single track, yet capable of tackling a wide range of terrain. It is a great all-arounder for riders that are happy on mellower, undulating trails. The Neuron 6 comes in both men's and women's variants, with the only difference being the frame color, sizes, and the spec'd saddle. Size medium and up come with 29 inch wheels and 27.5 for size small and extra small. The geometry is more relaxed compared to the spectral with a reach of 453 millimeters on a size large, a 67 degree head tube angle, and a 74.5 degree seat tube angle. The Neuron 6 is spec'd with a 140 millimeter Fox 34 rhythm up front, a 130 millimeter Fox Float DPS performance shock in the rear, a Shimano SLX group set, SRAM DB8 hydraulic disc brakes, and again the DT Swiss all mountain wheel set. The only thing I would think about upgrading on this bike would be the DB8 brakes, which are more of a budget oriented code brake with less stopping power. If you have an extra couple hundred dollars laying around and itching for a carbon frame, you can upgrade to the Neuron CF8 for $23.99. Regardless, the Neuron is a great choice for a majority of riders looking for a high performance bike that will excel at everything. Finally, the last bike on our list is the Polyon Siskiyou T8. The Siskiyou is priced at $2,200 and packages together modern geometry with high quality components. This is an aluminum frame with 29 inch wheels, comes in two colorways, purple black and charcoal, and the Siskiyou has 480 millimeters of reach on a size large, a 65.5 degree head tube angle, and a 76.5 degree seat tube angle. Polygon spec the Siskiyou T8 really well with a 140 millimeter Fox Rhythm fork up front, a custom tuned 135 millimeter Fox DPS shock, and a Shimano SLX group set. I do think they skimped a bit on the brakes and the wheel set with the Tektro HD M735 hydraulic brakes and the Entity XL2 rims. I think riders will ultimately look at upgrading these two components to fit more in line with the rest of the build. Other than that, the Siskiyou delivers a solid build for the price. So that's a wrap on my buyer's guide for the best valued full suspension mountain bikes that fall into the trail category. Realistically, any one of these bikes is gonna make you happy out on the trail. And if you can afford it, I'd recommend picking one up while they're on mega sale. Remember, I'm gonna be doing this with the enduro category here in the near future. So if you're looking for a longer travel bike, stay tuned. And with that being said, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.